Hi kiddos, Mrs. Day here. For our activity today, we are going to be doing a science experiment. Our science experiment will help us understand what happens when the clouds get really full and it begins to rain. Now there's a few different ways to do this science experiment and I'm gonna explain each of them to you. For this experiment, you will need some watercolor. I have mine here in a pan that helps me keep my colors sorted and it also helps to prevent the little cups from tipping over and creating a mess. I also need a large clear glass filled with water. If you're like me, my glasses are tiny, so I used a flower vase. It gives me a nice big opening in order to work. You're also going to need either some shaving cream or some whipped cream. If you're choosing the shaving cream option, please make sure it's shaving cream and not shaving gel. The gel does not work in this experiment. Mine is the gel, so therefore I'm gonna use my whipped cream for this experiment. You're also going to need something to pour the watercolor with. So I'm gonna test four different options for you. You might not have all four of these at your house and that's okay. That's why we're gonna practice with four of them and you can choose the one that you have at home. We're gonna try a spoon. We're gonna try a straw. You might have a really cool dapper like this. We use this in our water table but sometimes you might use this in your bathtub or one of these. This is found in my kitchen. So we're going to try all four of them to see which one works best and also to give you options in order to do this experiment at home. All right kiddos, for this activity the very first thing you need to do is fill your glass with water pretty close to the top. It gives me room to work up here but it also gives me plenty of room to see what's going on down at the bottom. Now parents, take your shaving cream or whipped cream, whatever you have, and put it on top of the water like this. Okay, so now kiddos, oh, there's a little on my finger. Now, right now when I look at my cup, I can see that my sky is down here and my clouds are up at the top. Very carefully, I'm going to use my watercolor and I'm going to drip them in the clouds. Now what do you see happening? When my clouds get full, my watercolor starts to go through them down into the sky, kind of like when it, when it rains. Now let's try the straw. I put the straw in the color, I close it with my thumb to pick it up, and then I let it go. Do you see any red coming through my clouds yet? Here it comes. It's getting full. I see it, I see it. Cool. So I've noticed that my straw doesn't work as well as my dropper. Let's see if we can do it with a spoon. Here's some yellow. Ooh, the yellow, the yellow works very well. It's just a little bit hard to see because my water is already blue. But I can see when I put yellow in my clouds and my clouds get heavy, it starts to spill into the sky and my clouds are raining yellow rain. So the spoon works well. The straw is not our best option right now. Okay, let's try one of these. I'm gonna try green. So I'm gonna suck up my color and I'm gonna let it go. Woo! Oh yeah, this one works just as good as our dropper. So I can see when my clouds get heavy, heavy with the watercolor, it starts to rain the water into our cup. How cool, it looks like I have a great big colorful rainstorm happening in my cup right now. Awesome. All right, kiddos, I hope you have fun with our science experiment. So after we tried all four options, we decided that one of these, a spoon, and a dropper are our best options. The straw did not work very well. So if you're gonna do this experiment at home, don't use a straw, try one of our other choices. All right, kiddos, I hope you have fun. I love you, I miss you, and I can't wait to see you soon. Bye.